Sad news, former Colorado Governor Dick Lamb has died at the age of 85. He served three terms. Lamb's wife, Dottie, issued a statement this morning saying he died of complications from a pulmonary embolism. He was certainly a force in Colorado politics, political specialist. Sean Boyd is here with more on his legacy. And one thing about Dick Lamb, never afraid to speak his mind. That's for sure. Anyone who knew Dick Lamb mm -hmm. will say he was someone who didn't mince words. And he didn't worry about party line politics or ruffling feathers, which he did from time to time. He was a nonconformist who likely wouldn't fit in in today's hyperpartisan politics, but who friends and colleagues say was intellectually grounded, genuine, and ho who we all could learn from. Dick Lamb was famous in Colorado as somebody who talked straight, who was honest, who was candid. Eric was Sonderman right. knew Dick Lamb not only as a political force, but personal friend of nearly 50 years. In many ways, he says, Lamb was ahead of his time. He was prescient. He was able to see ahead of the curve. Most politicians are able just to barely see the curve. Dick had an ability to see what was around the corner. Lamb is maybe best known for leading opposition to the 1976 Winter Olympics, the first and only time a host city rejected the Olympics. But he led on many other issues, too, passing an abortion law years before Roe v. Wade. He talked about the cost of health care and how much health care was driving people into bankruptcy. He talked about uh, oil companies tearing down mountains for oil shale. He said we're going to have uh, growth from Cheyenne to Pueblo. Former Denver Mayor Wellington Webb, a friend and member of Lamb's cabinet. He was dedicated to public service. I think he was one of the best governors this state has had. He wasn't without controversy coming under fire for his stance on illegal immigration. He was also a fiscal conservative who spoke out on entitlements. Lord knows Dick Lamb was not uh, first politician to find himself mired in controversy, but he embraced the controversy. He didn't run away from it. He would state his case. When he was wrong, he would back off. And Sonderman says a little of that could go a long way today. There is this still this longing out there, no matter how politics has changed, no matter how toxic and divisive it's become, there's a longing for the genuine article. And Dick Lamb was the genuine article. He was a Colorado original. He left his mark on the state, both from a policy perspective, but even more so from a personal perspective because of who he was and how he governed. Sonderman says Lamb was most of all a husband, father, and grandfather. His wife, Dottie, a political force in her own right. He was also a governor who Sonderman says polled equally popular among Democrats, Republicans, and unaffiliated voters. And that <laughs> definitely is a rarity in today's political world. Which is too bad. Sean, thank you. He was quite a guy.